Fortnite Creative is without a doubt at its peak right now during Season 10. After the Turbo Builds nerf and other bad updates were fixed, Creative Warriors have made a return and are creating new and improved building tricks almost weekly. And what's awesome about this is the fact that a lot of the well-known Warriors are controller players. Controller players are making lots of noise with their insanely good clips and advanced building mechanics that most can't even imagine. And when we say it's hard to imagine, we mean it. Most of these high ground retakes and building tricks are so fast and creative that you have to slow it down to see it. In today's video, we're going to be taking a closer look at one of the most advanced controller creative players in the world. This insanely talented controller player is EJ Ladd. EJ is not only the sole creator of the EJ Dash, but he's also a trendsetter in the Fortnite creative world. He's always setting standards higher and proving that controller players can do just as well as keyboard and mouse players. If you thought that you could never become as good as someone like Klix or Booga because you're on a controller, wait until you see what EJ can do. Now, real quick before we jump into it, you guys have to check out Instapro. We have some of the best coaches in the world and it's super simple to sign up. We also offer up to five free coaching lessons upon purchasing the Pro Pass, so check that out and leave a like on this video. All right, let's dive right in. Starting with the first clip, we see EJ double ramping up while throwing behind some Thwifo cones. As soon as EJ passes this layer, he quickly turns around and places two pyramids side by side on top of the ramp above him. He then does something very interesting that not many players know how to do. He quickly edits his pyramid through the ramp, which creates a ramp on ramp structure which he immediately places another pyramid on top of. This blocks off two whole layers, giving him complete control of that overall area instead of the enemy. Next, EJ quickly does a side jump to align himself with the enemy, then pulls off two quick edits, bringing him even closer. The only thing between them now is a ramp, which he quickly takes control over by placing a pyramid on top of it. Now he does a quick side jump and ends the fight with a swift one pump. Pay attention how fast he plays the wall and ramp, which catches him after the shot. This not only catches him, but it also protects him in case his shot didn't finish off the opponent. Moving on to the next clip, we once again see EJ use his previous technique. And we'll get right into how to do this in just a second. But first, let's just take a look at this nutty clip. EJ first uses a ramp and flips it, which seems flashy at first. But if we take a closer look, we can see that this move gives him the perfect cover. He essentially uses the ramp as a divider and then flips it to provide him with a way toward the opponent while also moving towards high ground. Now we see EJ look down and go into edit mode through his ramp and straight to the floor. This technique is one that EJ uses very effectively and in almost every fight, and it's very underused by players in the Fortnite controller community. Now EJ looks to the left and takes two shots to finish off the opponent. If we take a closer look, we can see that his opponent is completely thrown off and isn't even looking in the right direction. This is because of EJ's ability to edit and build very effectively to take control over farther areas. So you're probably wondering, how does EJ edit through his builds? This is thanks to a simple keybind that he and a minimal number of other people use. By binding switch mode slash edit, he can edit whatever material type he has selected. So let's say he's looking at a ramp and a floor, but he only wants to edit the floor. What he would do is go into build mode and switch to his floor material. Now he'll simply click his switch mode slash edit button and it will edit the floor instead of the ramp in front of it. Very simple, yet very effective and underrated move. Now, before we talked a little bit about the famous EJ Dash, almost every Fortnite player has heard about this useful move. From creative clips to Mongrel using it to save himself during a World Cup Finals game, this trick can be used in a variety of ways, and it was created by the one and only EJ. The EJ Dash is an advanced move that can be done with the pyramid or ramp. It is essentially using the building phase mechanics in the game to launch yourself and add extra velocity to your movement. We talked a little bit about how phasing can add additional momentum to a player in our last video, where we discussed ways high ping players can perform just as well as low ping players. This basic mechanic in the game allowed for the creation of the EJ Dash, which we're going to get into right now. As we watch this next clip, we see EJ doing some insanely advanced movement, which thrusts him in multiple different directions, ultimately putting him in the perfect spot to create an angle and get the finishing shot. If we slow this down and take a closer look, we can see that he does this trick by timing the placement of his ramps almost at the same spot every time. He waits until he's around the halfway point of the floor and then places a ramp and jumps, propelling him towards the direction the ramp is faced. This trick can be convenient and useful in multiple different scenarios. For example, you can use the EJ Dash infinitely to dash across the entire map. 
This can be super useful for times where the storm is pressing hard and your time is limited. What's most interesting about the Infinite EJ Dash is that it's impossible on keyboard and mouse. Only controller players can make this move, and that is due to the advanced 360 degree movement that controller players are given with their joystick. Advanced movement is a vast advantage that controller players get over keyboard and mouse players, and EJ sure knows how to make it stand out. Before we show you this next clip, we just want to give you a warning that you've probably never seen anything like it and you're going to be in awe for the next few seconds. Going into the clip, we see EJ place a floor in Pyramid and then stop moving while he's perfectly centered in the middle of the pyramid. If we take a closer look, we can see that the pyramid is glowing gold and that means that EJ is phasing through it. Now, most players would jump up and edit the pyramid or keep building up to the high ground, but we see EJ stay in this position and not move a single bit. Why is this? Well, if we watch the rest of the clip, we can feel our jaws drop in awe as we realize the genius behind this play. EJ knows that the opponent took the wall and he switches to build mode ready for him to open the wall. As soon as the opponent makes the edit, EJ moves to the side and places a pyramid where his opponent is standing. This does two things. One, it takes control over the area that the opponent is standing on while also creating confusion since the opponent is phased through it. And two, EJ is using the pyramid beneath him to push him towards the direction he's moving, creating a fast movement that will act as a strafe and make it harder for the enemy to shoot him. This play combined with advanced building, predicting enemy movements, advanced movement, and great aim, all in just a few seconds. It's things like these that make EJ such an incredible controller player. Moving on to the next clip, we notice something strange as soon as we get into it. We see that EJ is using cones as ramps by having a preset edit. This was an old strategy used by combat pro players before Builder Pro came out, and it was so that you could switch between walls and ramps quickly. So why is EJ using it now? Well, as we keep watching, we see that EJ's ramp is preset to edit itself, and not a normal one either. EJ is using his ramp as a two-way ramp preset, which is barely used by most creative warriors nowadays. One trick that many pros have started using is the use of ramps as place takers in 1v1s. What this means is that they place their ramp where the opponent would usually place theirs, and this gives you control over a particular area of movement that the opponent would have otherwise had. Now we see EJ do this, but with his funky little variation with the use of the double-sided ramp. And what this does is create a ton of confusion for the enemy. Almost no one expects to be running into a double-sided ramp during a 1v1. This is super new and very rare, causing people to mess up more and not know how to react. EJ uses this element of surprise to draw his opponents towards confusion as he easily cleans them up while they struggle to respond to the change in playstyle. Moving on to the final clip, we see EJ running up towards high ground using some pyramids, walls, and floors to be not only flashy, but also be different. Remember that being different in your playstyle is always great in creative 1v1s, where most people tend to do the same maneuvers and building strategies. This is essentially what EJ does here, but he likes to add a bit of flair to it and to make it more entertaining for the viewers. As soon as he takes the high ground and is aware of it, EJ starts to use his EJ dash method, but with a twist. This time, we see him rotate his ramp twice while running into it. This makes it so that he's ramping over himself, which seems a bit random at first, but if we think critically, we realize that he's doing this once again for added protection as he gets ready to use the ramp for another purpose. EJ tends to do this a lot in fights, where he tends to go from using a particular build for defense and then instantly switches it to aggression by a quick edit play. As he rotates the ramp, he jumps right into it, doing what he calls a reverse EJ dash. This works the same way as the normal one and propels him forward towards the direction he's flipped it. While doing this numerous times, EJ figures out exactly where his opponent is and uses his advanced dashing to move around and create an angle where he can take the final shot. By pulling off one final dash, he launches himself to the side and gets a very tight and calculated angle, which he uses to end the fight with. Overall, EJ is probably one of the most creative and advanced creative controller players in the world. No way. He proves that keyboard and mouse players aren't always dominant, and he does so by taking full advantage of controller movement paired with his witty tricks. We hope this video proved that controller players are just as capable as any other platform, regardless of their advantages. Controller players will always have their place as some of the best players in the world, and we can thank people like EJ who come up with ways for us to do so. As always, we hope you enjoyed this video. Hit the like button if you enjoyed it, and throw all of your thoughts and comments down below. We appreciate all the support, and we'll see you guys in the next one.